Hello, welcome to this Paladon System presentation. My name is Callum Mohammed and I'm a Senior Sales Engineer at Paladon Systems headquarters in England. Today I'm going to be introducing you to the latest valve automation technology developed by Paladon Systems, our compact self-contained electrohydraulic linear valve positioning system. This industry-leading technology offers end users numerous commercial and technical benefits when compared to traditional pneumatic, hydraulic and electric valve actuator systems and is becoming the technology of choice for many end users for onshore and offshore applications. During this presentation we will review the system's assembly, its major control components and its operating logic. We will show the system providing mainline valve control, partial valve stroke testing and a failure mode. Finally, we'll be looking at some of the features and benefits of the system. Let's have a look at the major components in the assembly, starting with the electronic control system. The electronic control system includes a smart positioner with an integrated feedback transducer to provide mainline valve positioning control with an accuracy of plus or minus half a percent. There is a hydraulic control system which includes the electric motor and the hydraulic pump to provide motive power for the actuator. The linear hydraulic actuator can be provided in a double lactin configuration or spring return when an open or closed failure mode is required. For this presentation we will concentrate on our linear valve positioning system. However, we also provide valve positioning systems for rotary valves. There is a junction box for the end user power and command signal connections. The indicator provides local visual indication for mainline valve position. And finally, we have the valve mounting kit. Now we are going to look in detail at the components that make up the hydraulic control system and see its operating logic. The hydraulic control system comprises of the following main components. A non-pressurized hydraulic reservoir, a filter, a hydraulic pump connected to an electric motor, a relief valve to set the system's operating pressure and to prevent overpressurization, two speed control valves to allow for different speeds of operation for the main line valve during its opening and closing strokes, two solenoid valves to provide remote electric main line valve operation, the main line valve itself, an actuator, an integrated positioner and feedback device, and a hand pump for manual override for local mainline valve operation in event of loss of power or command signal. Now let's have a look at the hydraulic control system schematic in action. We're going to see how the pulsing the solenoid via the positioner allows us to open and close the mainline valve in stepped increments. In this example, we'll be opening and closing the main line valve in 25% increments. However, in reality, these stepped increments would be far smaller to allow for precise valve positioning. This system supports all common communication protocols, including 4 to 20 milliamp heart, mod bus, foundation field bus, and Bluetooth. In this demonstration, we are going to use Paladon Systems Android application, the Paladon TVC, to locally position the mainline valve via Bluetooth. To position the mainline valve, it is as simple as entering a desired position into the application and sending the command to the system. Let's now move the main line valve to its 50% position.
partial valve stroke testing allows end users to test the integrity of the system without disrupting their processes and is a key requirement for mainline valve control in critical applications. The great thing about Paladon System partial valve stroke testing technology is that the system records various parameters during the testing to give a detailed picture of the system's overall health. This condition monitoring capability allows operators to spot potential problems well before they can jeopardize the reliability of their processes or possibly endanger personnel and the environment. Also, the stored data allows these systems to be incorporated into extremely cost-effective preventive maintenance programs. In this example, I'm going to partially stroke the main line valve to its 25% closed position using the Bluetooth communication. Unlike electric actuators, which simply fail in their last position on loss of power, this system can be used with a hydraulic spring return actuators to ensure either a fail open or a fail close mainline valve position on loss of either command signal or power supply. In this example, we will see the mainline valve moving to a fail close position on loss of the system's power supply. So now that we have seen how the system operates, let's have a look at some of the features and benefits that this system provides for end users, starting with its low power supply requirements. These systems are able to operate on power supplies at low as 60 watts, which when you think about it, is the same requirement for an average light bulb. Low power requirements reduce end users operating costs and allows for the use of solar panels and rechargeable battery packs, making these systems ideal for applications in which external power is unreliable, unavailable or commercially impractical to install. The low power requirements reduces the system's carbon footprint during operation or even eliminates it altogether for solar power systems. This low power supply requirement is achieved through numerous design considerations across the entire system. Our first generation positioner required 3.5 watts, however our latest generation requires less than 1 watt. This has been achieved by designing the positioner circuits from ground up to minimise the quiescent currents requirement when the system is at rest. For example, the positioner can be programmed to only wake up periodically to check the mainline valve position and determine whether there is a requirement to reposition it. The frequency that the positioner wakes up can be adjusted to specifically match the requirement of the application, i.e. the wake frequency can be increased for the applications in which the mainline valve requires frequent repositioning. Also, low power circuit board components are used throughout. As for the solenoid valves, the springs are manually adjusted during assembly and testing to reduce the power requirements less than 1 watts when in their final energised position. We also use variable speed electric torque motors in our design which have a higher efficiency than a standard fixed speed electric motor. Finally, by mounting the motor pump set directly to the actuator, the hydraulic supply pressure drop to the actuator is negligible when compared to systems powered by hydraulic ring main systems, with long supply tubing runs, especially for those systems operating in cold environments, which increase hydraulic fluid viscosity. Paladon System compact self-contained electrohydraulic systems use a range of smart material, electronic and hydraulic system design philosophies to result in systems that are approximately 25% lighter 
than competing self-contained electrohydraulic designs. A low weight design gives end users many benefits, including a reduced need of concrete foundations for onshore applications, reduced infrastructure for offshore applications, and reduced freight and servicing costs. To achieve the low weight, we use manifolds which, for the same control system functionality, are much lighter than panel mounted control systems. Although various materials options are available, as standard, our manifolds are manufactured from marine grade aluminium, which are approximately one third the weight of manifolds manufactured from either carbon or stainless steel. Our positioner and feedback device are also provided as an integrated assembly which is lighter than designs that use separate positioner and feedback devices. Finally, our linear spring return actuators use Belleville washers, which result in actuators that are more compact and lighter than competitor designs using traditional coil springs. Paladon system compact self-contained electrohydraulic systems are typically 30% smaller than competing systems. The small size gives end users reduced freight and servicing costs, more design flexibility when designing new processes, and makes it easier to retrofit our systems into existing processes. The small system size is primarily achieved by using compact actuators with Belleville washers and manifold hydraulic systems designed for high operating pressures up to 320 bar. Since 1981, Paladon Systems has been designing valve automation systems for the most critical applications and extreme operating environments. So high system reliability has always been one of our core skills. High reliability gives operators many benefits with the major ones being improved process uptime and control, reduced servicing costs, and reduced environmental risk. High reliability is ensured by the use of self-contained power supply with battery backup, using spring return actuators to guarantee a mainline valve fail open or fail close position, unlike electric actuators which will simply fail in their last position on loss of power supply. Employing robust hydraulic manifold designs, providing an automated partial valve stroke testing capability with an advanced condition monitoring software package. Many older valve automation technologies can be considered environmentally unfriendly due to their high power supply requirements or the fact that they vent natural gas during operation. However, this particular system leads the industry in terms of environmental responsibility since it requires minimal supported infrastructure, is able to operate on biodegradable fluid, has an extremely low power requirement of 60 watts, does not vent any gas during operation. This concludes this presentation on Paladon Systems compact self-contained electrohydraulic linear valve positioning systems. Thank you for your time today and interest in Paladon Systems. We hope you found the presentation informative and of interest. Should you wish to find out more about how this innovative technology can benefit your operations, please feel free to contact me directly or contact your nearest Paladon Systems facility.